Hello everyone, my name is Abby Bliss White and welcome to my channel. Today we're going to do a get ready with me. We are going to be using some fun Chanel products. A few of them I received in my stocking such as the La Beige. This is the Healthy Glow Eye Palette in Medium. I have wanted to try this one forever. And then we have got the Boy the Chanel eyeliners, which I have heard amazing things about. And we are gonna create a little kind of fun eye look using this Boy de Chanel eyeliner in navy. And then we're gonna end with a fragrance of the day. This is gonna be again from Chanel. So if you're interested in seeing how I created this look, I'll give you a little heads up. I am a bit tired, so I had to bring out the works, try to give myself a little bit more of an energetic look today. So I'll be sharing those tips and tricks with you to kind of liven up your complexion and pretend that you got eight hours of sleep. So if you want to see how I created this look, then let's go ahead and get started. Okay guys, we need to put some makeup on this face. I am going to be using mostly Chanel products. I got a few new things tucked into my stocking. I thought we would use this new to me. This is the La Beige um, Healthy Glow Natural Eyeshadow Palette in medium. And I have wanted this for quite some time because guess what? This is like the perfect abby kind of palette i have so many neutral palettes you guys but i love them and this happened to show up in my stocking so we're going to use that today i also um, had a subscriber tell me that i need to try the boy de chanel their eyeliners and that they're so awesome and that i need to give them a try so i, so I want to say thank you claire this also was in my stocking, so I was super excited about that. And we're gonna have to do the works today because I have not had a lot of sleep the last few days. Unfortunately, both my dogs have been sick and there's been a lot of nightly care, staying up, cleaning up kind of messes and such, but they seem to be on the mend today, I hope. Fingers crossed and Thus, the need that we're going to just kind of put on some makeup, try to make me look a little bit more refreshed. Um, we'll kind of try to make my skin look glowy, natural kind of look. And I'm hoping everybody had a fantastic holiday. So I thought what I would do, you guys, I'm actually going to use the La Beige. This is the Eau de Tente. I'm going to use this first. We may use this as a primer and then put a little bit of the Sublimage. This is the L'Essence de Tente. This is not launched in the States, but I do have to say I'm kind of loving it. So, so I'm going to use this first. It's just one of my favorites. And whenever I'm feeling kind of tired, this is what I will use because it really plumps up my skin. So I'm actually using the brush that goes with the Sublimage one, but you can use whatever kind of brush you have. So I'm going to take about this much and we're going to start with this and this stuff just always makes my skin feel hydrated kind of plump and you can often just use this on its own but as i said feeling like i'm needing a little bit of the works today Okay, we basically did a pump of the Eau de Tente, one of my favorites, and to me, it just sort of plumps up my skin, makes it feel hydrated, a little bit glowy. I am going to add a little bit of the Sublimage. This is the L'Essence de Tente, just for a little bit more coverage. This also is gonna give me a little bit of glow, but we're not gonna use a ton. We're just gonna kinda even out. So I feel mostly like it's my eyes that are gonna need a little extra today. But I want to know, how did everybody's Christmas go, holiday? I'm just going to take just a little bit, you guys. We're going to tap 
this on and I'm hoping everybody had a nice little holiday that we're getting ready now for the new year. I feel like it can't get any worse, fingers crossed, that there's a light at the end of the tunnel. So kind of looking forward to that. So I'm again just taking this brush and you guys I'm just buffing a little bit of extra coverage onto my skin with that. But ultimately I'm hoping you guys had a fantastic holiday. Ours, ours was very mellow. I survived not being with my son for the holidays. We did some family Zooms, reconnected with everybody, and just kind of had a very nice kind of chill kind of holiday. Okay guys, today we did a little bit of high maintenance using both the Water Fresh Tint and the Sublimage. It's one of those days where I feel like I'm bringing out the big guns. Next, we're gonna have to use the ultimate little secret, and that is Le Corrector in Rose. So if you have not slept for days and you need to look like you did, then I highly recommend that you get this corrector. The rose one is going to be for brightening. A little smidge goes a long way, but it just completely brightens up underneath the eyes. So I am just feeling a little peaked and tired and I'm just gonna take a little bit of this, just a little bit. And you're going to see it completely brightens up underneath the eyes. So I'm going to take my ring fingers and I'm going to come down to kind of right at the top of that cheekbone over here. And then I'm going to bring it up, 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 kind of like that triangle. Was that a Trish McAvoy little trick? And basically then I'm going to take whatever's left with that product and I'm going to kind of push it through. And it's going to start brightening up that eye area and kind of give me a little bit of lymphatic as well, kind of like a little deep puffing by taking my fingers and kind of pushing through there, taking whatever's left on my finger. And I'm gonna use that kind of to use this as a lid primer as well. And we're gonna hope that all of a sudden maybe I'm gonna look a little bit more alive because we're doing some kind of trivia little Zoom tonight with some other family members. I need to be looking Zoom ready. So, so we've kind of got complexion on. Just gonna kind of let that set into my skin while we do our eyes. So I'm so excited. I have not tried the Boy de Chanel eyeliner. I got this in navy. So I think we'll do kind of like a taupey kind of neutral eye and then we're going to use this kind of thicker kind of pencil and I got it in navy and you guys one tip I always think about is when I use navy on my eyes it usually like perks them up and makes me look a little bit more rested and wow look at how pretty this is so this is going to give me a little bit thicker more defined kind of navy eye look um I am loving these so they come in three colors and they have navy, black, and brown. And I was told that these just make like a really simple kind of smoky eye. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually use this medium palette. Now I know a ton of people that absolutely love this. I have one of their limited edition ones that I picked up that I love. These are fantastic for travel, but this is just your perfect kind of neutral eye look. And that's exactly what we're going to create today. It's just a nice little neutral eye with that navy. Now I did pick up the new Sonia G brushes and you guys these are so cute so they are little but I love Sonia G brushes and I love the fact that these are a little bit smaller these are really beautifully soft just like what you expect from Sonia G but I was super excited about these little eye pencils here because I actually do like kind of a little 
shorter handle when I'm doing my eyeshadow. So these really appealed to me. This one particularly looked fantastic to be kind of lining your eyes here. So this is the flat definer, which is gonna be fantastic to kind of get in and line those eyes. We have the mini booster, which I think is going to be fantastic to kind of create a nice little V. And then we have got the jumbo blender, which I think just seems like a fantastic kind of all around shadow. This is the way this is designed is kind of reminding me of the worker pro brush, but just with a little bit shorter of a handle. So pretty. Then we've got this classic face brush. And you guys, this is so soft, again, just like you expect. So I think it's gonna be fantastic to kind of dab on powder, blush, just kind of all over face products. And then it comes with a little mini base kind of brush. So I guess I could have used that for my foundation, um, but sometimes when they're brand new and fresh, I don't want them to look dirty before I show you them on camera. So that was a little something that I picked up for myself um, and was super excited about those because I am a fan of Sonia G brushes. So we are going to use a few of these today. I'm going to start with the Jumbo blender and we're going to go right into this ivory shade at the top. So this just looks like the nice kind of oyster colored cream colored shadow and I'm just going to place that all over as a nice little base. Now these shadows I have found are a little bit more powdery than some of the other quads and I think some people do not like that. I don't mind a powdery shadow for these kind of neutral palettes. I find them easy to blend um, and just kind of create very simple eyes. So I can see where some people who really like kind of those creamy or more intricate eye looks might want kind of a little bit more creamy or less powdery of shadow. But for my purposes, I think these tend to work great. So next I'm going to go in with this kind of crease shade, nice little taupe here. And I'm using this Sonia G. This is the mini booster. And I'm going to use this on kind of the outer V here. And I'm going to bring it in to that crease. Okay, I'm going to go in with a little bit warmer shade here, and I'm just going to put a little bit of that kind of on the lid and see what that looks like. So it's kind of nice. It's got a little bit of kind of warmer and cooler. This is just going to be like your classic kind of smoky eye look. So that's what I was attracted to. So far, I'm really loving this little brush for like creating that kind of crease. Like I can just like look up and then just kind of give it a little smoked out look there. Then I'm going to take this flat definer. We're going to go into this more charcoaly, little bit deeper of a brown kind of brown gray and I'm going to kind of start to smoke out the lash line here as I said we're going to use navy but we'll show you this eye look first just kind of using the palette and then for those of you that don't wear eyeliner or just wear shadow as eyeliner this would work great. Gonna use whatever's left on this brush and I'm just gonna run a little bit underneath just to kind of give a create a little shadow here okay. 
Then I'm going back to the Jumbo Blender. I'm going to put it a little bit in this shade. It has a little bit of sparkle, a little bit of lightness. And we're going to put a little bit of that just above my iris here. I'm going to take it from that inner corner and we're just going to lighten up this look. Okay guys, this is what this super simple kind of neutral eye looks like. This is in medium and I'm really enjoying this because it just kind of creates that classic kind of Chanel neutral eye and then I think we will have fun and kind of amp it up with a little bit of this Boy de Chanel and this is in navy. Again, this is the color and I just have a feeling that it's going to brighten up my eyes a little bit. But what I'm saying is if you are someone who loves just a basic neutral eye, you could skip the eyeliner, put on mascara, and then kind of be done classic little eye here. But you know, I'm someone who feels like I need eyeliner. So I'm going to, so this is the first time I'm playing with these and I'm going to first kind of come and put a little bit in my upper waterline. Okay, first little observation super easy to use like these were went in my waterline like so easily feel like it's defining the eye and I think what I want to do is kind of smoke a little bit on my lash line on top and then just kind of smudge it out so kind of a smudgy uh, navy little look I love sort of a khaki and navy eye look or uh, basically taupe and navy is one of my favorite kind of eye looks so I'm gonna amp this up just a bit more. Okay guys, I am gonna go put on mascara, clean up my brows, but I'm already feeling better. This is the miracle of makeup. <laughs> can kind of transform when you're feeling a little low, can kind of lift your spirits up. And I'm just really enjoying this eyeliner. Really good call. I think we're going to have to get a few more of those. I think we need to play with making like a easy one step smoky eye with those Boy de Chanel eyeliners. So thank you so much, Claire, for recommending those to me. So I'll be right back and then we'll finish off the rest of the face. Okay, we have got eyeballs on. Then I thought we would warm up my skin with the classic. This is the Healthy Glow Bronzing Cream. This is one of my long time favorites. I had the old version and now the new version. And I just take like my It Cosmetics kind of a synthetic kind of brush. And then we are gonna warm up the skin just like this. It'll start to make me look alive. Then I'm going to do a little pop of pink blush. So when I'm feeling a little bit tired and a little bit fatigued, I always find that a little bit of a poppy pink blush will kind of give my complexion a little boost and liven up my skin. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this little face brush from Sonia G and I'm just going to use that to give myself just a little bit of brightness. I'm wanting that kind of like a little bit of a as if I have worked out kind of look. I'm also going to take just a little bit of this blush you guys 
And if I don't use like bronzer in my crease to kind of bring everything together, I sometimes take a little bit of my blush too. And I'm just going to put a little bit of that just to tie it together. Kind of to tie everything together, make myself look a little more alive. I'm also going to use a little bit of powder to set everything. This is the La Beige Healthy Glow Sheer Powder, and this one's in number 20. I'm going to use this Wayne Goss, just this little powder brush here, and I'm just going to kind of set everything just a little bit. Now I want to give my skin just a little bit of an extra glow and I am going to use the Essential Balm and this one is in Sculpt and Sculpt is just going to have that kind of sheer kind of glow. Here is Sculpt if you can see that. It's so pretty you guys. It's just like a basic almost light kind of champagne color but again when I'm tired I will use these kind of little tricks um, to kind of liven up my skin and make it look just a little bit healthier and glowier. We gotta fake it sometimes. And I just use my finger you guys it kind of almost gives you a little bit of that um, glossy skin look but it's not overly dewy it's gonna eventually kind of sit down and I wanted to kind of place it on top of that powder to kind of give me that healthy glow I didn't want to take that glow away so it does work on top of powder uh, some people prefer to put that on and then the powder but I find that if I use it on top I don't use a whole lot of powder, so it's just like a little light dusting. And also use a little bit of this balm kind of up in that brow bone. And a little bit right in that Cupid's bow. This is a great product. I need to use it more. Then I'm going to use one of the new Rouge Allure Lax, and you guys, I love these. So these are like my new favorite kind of lip product. This one is in the shade Permanent, and I'm going to show you how I just kind of use it as a stain. So I'm going to just put a light amount on the lips here because I want this more as just a little bit of a brightener for the complexion, but not too much of an opaque lip. So I'll just put a little on and then I will I've got just a little stain on my lips. You can use whatever's left over and we can actually kind of deepen up my cheeks. Just use the whatever's left over with those lacks. This is an old kind of trick, but you can always use little lipstick or whatever. I'm just using the little extra to kind of liven up the complexion. I am feeling a little bit more alive. And then of course we have to end with fragrance of the day. And yep, I got a new Le Exclusive. This is Sycamore. So I received this as a gift from my family and I just love this one. So I kind of find this funny because honestly, this was the first Le Exclusive that I fell in love with. I was at first on the fence because I thought it might be a bit masculine, but I just resigned to the fact that I love vetiver fragrances. They are just very invigorating to me, and I have to say this is one of the best I've ever smelled. So this one has vetiver in it, it's got cedar, and it's got a touch of vanilla. It also has a little bit of the smokiness in it that I really like. So let's go ahead and put a little bit on. So this is just one of these fragrances that makes me feel confident. It makes me feel strong. I feel invigorated. And I just love the dry down of this. 
So this is definitely unisex. I would not call this a super girly scent. And you guys know I do love to be a girly girl. But this is one that I'm just gravitated towards because every time I wear it, it just makes me feel like a million bucks. Now, I remember trying this when I was in New Orleans and it's very humid in New Orleans, but I just love this. I felt like it kind of cut through the heat a little bit, kind of that vetiver is kind of strong that it kind of cut through there, but it also has a cocooning effect, at least on my skin. I think that little bit of cedar, those kind of woodsy kind of fragrances um, with that touch of vanilla always gives me just a little bit of a cozy feeling, like a little cocoon around me. But then that vinegar is kind of like a very bright kind of invigorating kind of scent. So I just love that combination of kind of that bright high and then kind of that coziness. So, so it's going to give me both of those feels. And I just love this one. Now, if you are wanting this fragrance to feel just a tad bit more feminine, I would tell you that when I start with a base, this is the Fresh Body Cream from the Lay Exclusive line. And you guys, this stuff smells so good. It's definitely a fresh scent. This is definitely a fresh scent. Like oftentimes, I like to just use a little bit as perfume on its own. That's how good it is. And if I use this along with Sycamore, it will kind of temper any of that kind of masculine feel, which again, you guys, it's just unisex. I wouldn't call it masculine, but vetiver in general is used in a lot of colognes. I love cologne kind of fragrances as well, but that would be one way if you are someone who tends to want something to be just a little bit more on the feminine side and you're interested in sycamore, those that little combination really works well just to give it just a little soft feminine edge. It's a little smoky, it's a little wood, woody, but again, overall, it just gives me kind of this badass kind of feeling where it just makes me feel like I can conquer the day. Okay guys, this is the final look of the day. Feeling much better, ready to go ahead and rock the day. It is amazing how much fragrance can kind of lift your spirits along with makeup. And, and I'm so excited because I have got some really fun videos coming your way as we shift into 2021. So I hope you guys have an amazing day and I'll be back with another video soon.